Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where of course every day is a train show and hopefully we have some new items that we're going to take a look at that are going to find their way on your railroad empire. And since we are a show of the people, we're going to be talking about people and such as these little packs that we have from Broadway Limited. So if you take a look here, I have some two pack people, pack A and pack B, have some seated figurines. And then I also have some four packs as well. Of people that maybe you want to put inside your locomotives, maybe you want to put inside your cars, maybe you want to turn them into hobos, whatever you want to do, we got them here at Yankee Dabbler. Now, the two packs sell for $2.75, and the four packs sell for $5.50. These might be the cheapest things we've ever talked about on our show, so they're pretty cool. So if you want to populate your railroad with some miniature people, come to Yankee Dabbler and get these guys rolling on your rails today. Now, some of us might be looking for some new rolling stock items, and I know we're going to take a look at one that actually Engineer Hall did a look, but say on, these are these Walther wood chip hoppers. Let's check these out. Engineer Hall, do you like these things? Oh, yeah. I bought a kite few of these here. It's a good car to have. They look rubber. cool. And I have a couple of different row names. I have here the Norfolk Southern. Here I have the Union Pacific. I have the Meridian and Bigsby. I have the Santa Fe and the CSX. Now, I actually had a couple more row names, but these cars became so popular that I actually sold out of them. So these are what I got left. But these are really, I'm sorry, really, really nice cars here. I have die-cast metal couplers. I have nice metal wheels here. And this is just a, a very nice looking car. I could put some load in there if I want to put some wood chips in there. It's deep. Or if you want to be like I do and put like gummy bears or something in it. Hey, there you go. Now the retail value of these cars, they sell for $39.99. But we're selling here in Yankee Dabbler for $33.98. So these are a great looking car here. You know, you can only have so many box cars, flat cars, gondolas before you think, you know, I need something a little bit different. Well, I think this definitely fits the bill. So come get these cars rolling on your layout today. Now we're going to play a little game here. And you know, I like to play some games here. So we got a new game here at our show. Call up two truths and a lie. I'm going to read you three statements about this wood chip hopper car. You're going to tell me which one is the lie. Are you ready? So, statement one this is a 70 foot wood chip hopper. Statement number two they have die cast metal wheels and couplers. Or statement number three this helps you attract women. And, of course, we all know the lie is the first one because these are actually 73-foot and 3-inch hopper cars. So, there you go. That was two truths and a lie. You might be looking for some more rolling stock items. And we have another car from Walters that we're going to check out. These are some Pullman Standard flat cars. Let's check out these cars here. Now, these are really nice-looking flat cars. All right. So, I have here the Erie Lackawanna. I have here the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. As well as the regular Burlington Northern. Then I have a couple of these from the Trailer Train series. I have a Sioux line. And then I have the TTCX. I have the GATX. I got a whole bunch of these various different uh, trailer cars here for your consideration. Now these are really nice looking flat cars here. They probably do uh, need a little bit of weight. You know, if you're a little bit worried about some light cars here. So I think definitely whatever load you put on there is definitely going to help these cars here. But once again, I have die cast metal couplers, die cast metal wheels, and they just glide really nicely along the rails. And just like the wood chip hoppers, which I should have mentioned earlier, I have a bunch of different road numbers for these as well. So if I like this here, Lackawanna, but I want to get a couple of different ones, I have the ability to do that. Now, these flat cars retail here for $34.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $29.73. So, everybody needs one, two, 65 flat cars on the railroad. I think you definitely would enjoy these. And once again, we're playing our game, Two Truths and a Lie. Got to read you three statements. You tell me which one's the lie. So, number one, these are 60 foot Pullman Standard Hoppers, or flat cars, rather. Number two, these have plastic couplers. Or number three, the federal government actually considered this a dependent, so you could use it as a tax write-off. And of course, the correct answer is they have metal couplers and wheels, so that was the lie. So there you go. So get these cars rolling on your railroad today. We're going to go to o -Scale now. We're going to take a look at a locomotive that a lot of people have really been anticipating, and this is from the Strasbourg Railroad. This is Canadian National number 89. Now if you take a look at this engine here, this is a great depiction of the 
260 mogul that they have running at Strasburg right now. The paint job looks fantastic. It sounds great, but don't take my word for it. Let's get this started. Now I'm going to run this with the Legacy system. Of course, I can run this via Bluetooth control. I can also use a conventional if I just have a regular transformer. So let's get started up. So right there, the sounds just sound awesome. Now, there's a bunch of different lighting features that I could put in here. If you take a look inside the CAD, you can see I do have some engineer firefighter figures in there. They are lit up. I have a flickering firebox, as you can see in there. Pretty cool. It is starting to smoke. And the neat thing is I could actually change the color of the classification light. So if I wanted to change them to like a white color, I could do that as well, or I could just turn them off entirely. So that's pretty neat. So let's take a listen to some of the sounds here. I have five different whistles. There's another one. There's another one. I have a bunch of different bells as well and some crew talk. Let's take a listen to some crew talk features. Engine to dispatcher. Ready to roll. Can I pull over? Things are taking a little longer than usual. Sit tight until I can get the line cleared. Yeah. Engine to tower. We're all made up. Am I clear outbound? Over. You're clear. Proceed east. Out. All right, let's get fired up.
So that is a fantastic steam locomotive, and if you're a fan of the Strasburg Railroad, you definitely need that engine pulling uh, the trains on your railroad. You know, I'm a big fan of Strasburg Railroad. I waited a very long time to get accurate depictions of the locomotive rosters that they have, uh, the locomotive on the rosters. So definitely you need that engine. It retails for $799.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $719.99. And this engine will not stay in, uh, in our shop for long. So if you're interested in that engine, come to YankeeDabbler.com, get that engine in your cart so we can get it rolling on your railroad today. And continuing with our game, I have three statements about the real Strasbourg 89. You're going to decide which one is the lie and which two are real. So, statement number one about Strasbourg 89. It is a former Canadian national steam locomotive. Option number two. Owning this engine will make you operate better in bed. Or option number three. It was built in February of 1915. And of course, we all know that the incorrect statement there is... The third one, it was actually built in February of 1910. So, coming to Yankee Dabbler, get this engine today, and uh, hey, give y'all a break better in bed. We're going to take a look at one more locomotive here, and this is all the way from Ather, and these are some SC70s, SC70M, and an SC75. Check out these diesel locomotives here from Athern. Now, these are the SC70s, and I really like this Illinois Central engine here. I have a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Dahmers from Rowan University. He's a big Illinois Central fan, so shout out to you there. I have here the Norfolk Southern diesel locomotive. I have here the Rio Grande, and I always love that tiger striping in the front. Okay. And I also have the Illinois Central diesel locomotive as well. Now, this is the SC70M. This one has a wider cab here. This is the Union Pacific. Oh, it's a 4015. It's not the 4014. I thought that was a big boy for a second. And then this is actually the SD75. This is the Canadian National Diesel Locomotive here. So these are really nice looking diesel locomotives here. You know, you can never have enough diesel engines on your rails. Let's take a look at this Norfolk Southern engine. As you can see, I have a bunch of different detailing happening in here. I just love all the separately applied labels, all the different warning, um, the, the uh, reflective bands. I got a whole bunch of things happening on this diesel locomotive. Let's take a look at the front of this engine here. I mean, is there anything sexier than that engineer hall? Hey, man. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff, man. I mean, I really enjoy these diesel locomotives. Athlon does a great job with their engines. And we're going to run one of these. Engineer hall, which one would you like to run on the rails? Uh... Give, give, give me that one, that one. You want that one? I want that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want that one? I, that I never one. heard of Norfolk Southern that they knew. Uh, fairly new. Okay. Well, let's little see. Little small, small company, you know. Okay. Like well, a little short line. That's a little short line. Well, we'll see what this engine looks like on the rails, so let's go. All right, so we got fired up here. Let's take a listen to the horn. And the bell. There we go. Driving on track one, the Woodchip Express. Oh, 
Those are near looking diesel locomotives that you can never have enough SD70s on your lap. So I think you definitely need those engines operating today. Now the retail value of all these locomotives is $334, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $289.74. So it's a great deal to get on these diesel locomotives here. I really enjoy the different paint schemes that we have here. And again, you can never have enough diesel. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get those engines out. And now time for our final version of Two Truths and a Lie. About these SD70s, the first one was built in 1992. These engines actually add 35 years to your life, or they have a Digitrack sound in them. And of course, you all know the incorrect answer is the third one. These actually have tsunami sound in them. So yeah, add 35 years of your life with this diesel locomotive. You know, Engineer Hall, I gotta say something here. You said you've never heard of Norfolk Southern before. Never heard Norfolk Southern in my life. Never. All right. Well, I'm a little confused because I'm looking at your shirt there, and um, what is that? Sure line. Anyway, come get these diesel locomotives pulling trans and gear rare today. So let's do a little recap of all the things that we took a look at today. We had here from Athern, we had these SC70s and SC75s. We had here from Walters, we had two really cool looking cars here. We had the wood chip hopper, as well as these Pullman Standard flat cars. We had here from Broadway Limited, little figurines that we could put inside your, uh, in, uh, your cars. Hey, we could put them inside wood chip hoppers. And they probably won't like that road. And then finally, we have from Lionel this awesome Strasburg number 89. I really enjoy that engine. But of course, if you're looking for something else that we didn't showcase on today's show, we'll go on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type into the search bar what you're looking for, and hopefully you'll find it. So we get it shipped to you, and you'll have hours and hours of rare writing fun. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on all the newest videos that we have happening here. We are continuously adding new things, so make sure you stay tuned so you can see all the new exciting adventures that are installed for Engineer Hall this summer. You got a lot of fun things planned? Yeah, of course I do. It's going to be the summertime. We'll be outside riding my motorcycle. Ooh. We can go to uh, Wildwood. They might take a trip to Florida. But, you know, I got to work, too. You know, I got a uh, heck of schedule, you know. We don't care about your fun stuff. We care about the trains. Oh, I, I was getting to that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the trains are going to sit into the winter time when it gets no, cold outside. No, 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 no. It's the summertime. The we got to show the trains, dude. No one what, cares about the other stuff. But, you know what? I'll show the new stuff that's developed by Yankee Dad, but I'll do that for you. How about this? When you go to the okay. swimming pool, you bring the trains with you. Ooh, I don't think the Dakotas will love the, the, um, that ride. We'll find out. So make sure you click subscribe on Engineer Hall's channel. We're going to conclude today's rail fan video. Since we took a look at Strasburg number 89, we're going to take a look at the real Strasburg 89 going down the Lancaster countryside. It's a really great looking engine. Now, you gave me kind of an idea. So if you excuse me, I think we're going to do this summer, we're actually going to construct a, in kit form a gigantic gondola swimming pool. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be... This is gonna be huge gauge, huge, huge gauge. All right, so we gotta get Christian. <laughs> so we'll see what size he is, and then we'll build around there. Christian, I need you for a project. Yeah. Yeah.